Hello and welcome to another Applied Energy 62 tutorial. In this video I will go through the wireless terminal and how to set up a wireless ME network. I will cover a very small part of the security terminal but not fully. This is not my first AE2 video so if there are items or blocks in this video that I don't recognize there are they are probably covered in another video, so please check the video description for more information about that. Anyway, let's get started with the with the crafting part. If you don't have NEI installed or similar add-ons, the uh, we start with the Fluix pearl made from Fluix dust and an Ender pearl. We move along to get the wireless receiver with some coarse fiber and iron. This one is used to both the wireless terminal and the wireless access point. So, but we will we'll start with the terminal. So an ME terminal and the dense energy cell. This one will require some charging. So we'll put in a charger and just give it a few minutes or even less than that. The counterpart of the terminal is the access point. Of course, this is the part when we where we connect to the ME network. So let me grab perhaps two of those. It can be a good idea to have several, but we'll get more into that later. So one could think that we have a terminal and an access point, that we have everything that we require, but that's not the case. We will need the ME security, security terminal as well. This is a quite expensive block, mostly due to the 16K storage component, because you will need some 4K storage components and processors and calculation processors and, and logic processors. And there are quite a lot of material, but um, if you want to go wireless, you don't have much choice. So we'll place it to the network that we are uh, going to have wireless access to. We take our access point and place it like, like such. They will require one channel each and you cannot remove the terminal after. You need to have it in the network to maintain functionality. Now I think we have some power in this one. Yeah, well, it's 20% charged, so it's uh, good enough for now. Now to link this to the network, we can see here in the ME chest that we have a lot of flowers. To link it to the network, you open the security terminal interface and you place the wireless terminal up in the top right slot. You can see now it says linked and of course that means that we have a fully functioning wireless AE system. Now there are things more things to know or more good things to know the range initially is 16 blocks so if i go over here i have no access this is the 16 block right here now there are two ways to solve that problem one way is to use boosters they're over there but the and the second way is to have another access point. If I toggle this toggle bus, you can see that one lights up and I have access now. It's the same network, of course. But the first variant was to use the wireless boosters. Get some ender dust in the grinder and craft as many boosters as you want let me grab eight that seems like a good number now we can open up the wireless access point interface here we can see the 16 blocks or meters and the energy usage for the access point if i place one you will see that the energy goes up but so does the range so i will continue to boost up and somewhere around here I have passed the double double range and to uh, almost double energy cost. 
So now I should have 38 blocks of range, but the energy usage went up a little. So now if I walk over here, you see this one is off. I still have access. Now there, the, it's not only the, the access point that has energy usage. The terminal itself also have, it, it, since it's on batteries, it will have some some <laughs> energy consumption. So, and that consumption will increase with the distance from the access point. So the base consumption is one A per tick. And for every block I'm away, this will increase with the same. Well, until you get closer to another, for example, because then that one will take over and the energy usage will, will be different. So now I have quite a big range from, from my only activated access point. So the energy usage while, while hooked up will be quite high. You can see the power is quickly draining. Of course, when I close the interface, it won't consume any, any energy. And that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say. If you want to change the connected network, you have to use your terminal to another security terminal. And here I have another network. And over here, same thing. Link to another gives me different access. That's it for now. And if you have any questions about the wireless terminal, feel free to leave a comment in the video comment section. And I hope to see you in another video. Thanks for watching.